Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the libsef.dll error on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one, but we're going to open up Google Chrome for this tutorial. And I will have a link in the description of the video to this URL being hosted on dllfiles.com. And this is going to be our DLL file that we're going to be using to replace the existing one, which more than likely is not already there. If you're coming across this is missing error, as the name would imply. So on this page here, you want to quickly scroll down a bit and so you see the available versions. So you want to go ahead and just select the most recent version here, or at least the one that appears in the list. There might be newer versions, doesn't really matter at the time of this recording if it's slightly older or not, but we're going to go select what appears to be the newest one and we're going to go select download. And depending on what web browser you're using, it might look a little bit different, but it shouldn't take too long. Download's only about 39 megabytes. And once the compressed file is done downloading, just open it up one time, left click on it to actually open up the compressed folder in there. And you can minimize out of the web browser at this time as well. And there should be a DLL file in here, so go ahead and just left click on that and drag it over to the desktop. And once it's over to the desktop, you can close out of this folder. And now you want to go open up the start menu, just left click on the start button one time. Type in File Explorer. Best match should come back with File Explorer here. Go ahead and left click on that one time. And now on the left side you want to select this PC. Double click on whatever your local disk is. Usually there will be a little Windows icon above the hard drive icon so you'll know which one is which. So go ahead and double click on that. And now you want to go double click on Windows. Now if you're running a 64-bit version of the Windows operating system you want to find the SysWow64 folder. If you are running a 32-bit version of the Windows operating system, you want to go find System32 because there is no SysWow. 
and in my case I am running a 32-bit system. Most people are probably running a 64-bit system though, so again look for that syswow folder. So double click on whatever folder I suggest you guys select and then take the DLL file that was on your desktop and just drag it over to this containment folder. So I just move to system 32. So I continue to initiate the movement. Shouldn't take too long at this point. And once that is done, close out of here, restart your computer, and that should hopefully be about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.